Hey folks, it's Woody here with USMA Blade and just coming to you from the shop today to talk to you about the Hinder Full Track. This beast is finally back in stock and we are very excited about it. Uh, this is a knife that just kind of set the internet on fire and, and set the knife world on fire when it first was introduced at, uh, at Blade Show last year. Uh, one most innovative knife design of the year for 2018 and for good reason. I mean, just a fantastic design. Uh, everything on this knife is just absolutely killer. It's really, really well done. Um, so let's kind of go over it. We're just gonna do a quick overview, give you guys some size comparisons, talk about the knife a little bit. So uh, first things we'll hit on it, let's just give you the specs. Uh, overall length is 8.75 inches. Blade length is 3.75 inches, so a little bit under that big XM24. Uh, weight on these is 6.8 ounces, and we are 20 CV steel on these. I know he's going to be switching the steel up when he goes to different models, So, uh, but on the spear points that we have, these are 20 CV. So um, anyway, uh, available right now, we've got some anodized versions that came to us, uh, anodized from Hinderer, and we've got black, OD green, and blue G10 on the scales. So I know they're going to be doing some different scales for these, but don't know what time frame. Uh, biggest, coolest factor on these, this was the, the first knife actually introduced. So comes in your standard hinderer box. And, uh, and there we are, most innovative, uh, innovative American design. And this was the first knife that he ever introduced, not the first knife he produced for, for uh, customers, but the first knife he introduced uh, with the triway pivot system on it. So in the back of your box, you get these and comes with the phosphor bronze and the uh, Teflon washers and then instructions and how to go to the video and change it out and everything. So that was really cool and really neat. And we certainly talked about the triway pivot plenty because it's come out on other knives before they got the production full tracks out. But m the other really cool part about this knife is, and my favorite part to be honest, is the inboard onboard tool. Um, this thing, as you can hear, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, allergies are killing me right now. But as you can hear, snaps in like a champ. The design on how it sits, it's got a, a slight spring in on the back of the tool, and then it just literally snaps in, and it's actually got a little kind of detent in here that, that holds it on. So this sucker, I, I've seen other knives done, mostly Chinese knives done, with some sort of onboard tool where they're magnetically and you stick them in the back or you, they've got little slots for them. And I've, I, years ago, I tried carrying one of those things and I think I lost all the bits or whatever in no time at all. They fell out all the time. Find them in my pockets. Not this. This some bitch is on here. So it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, it's, it's, it's still easy to access, easy to put back. And so just a fantastic design. Uh, other things about this knife, it's gonna be hard to show at this angle, but incredibly smooth on those bearings. Uh, easy to, to change everything up on. So just, just a fantastic design. Um, so let me get mine out here, move this out of the way. Cause I'm not about to use a tool on a new knife, but I wanted to show a new one to start. And this tool, just to, I don't want to harp on it too long, but uh, it's, it's, it's double recess. So you've got a smaller part and then a, a bigger part. So it fits every screw on the knife. Fits the pivot, fits these smaller scale screws, fits the, the bigger handle screws on the back, fits everything on the knife. And I actually did for our Instagram, and I'll, I'll try and plug it in at the end of this video. I did a fast forward version the only thing it does not fit is this uh, steel lock insert, which they really don't want you messing with unless you know what you're doing anyway. So, um, but what a just fabulous idea. So if you want to change out your, your pivot or if you, or, you know, change to, to different uh, washers, you can certainly do that on the fly just about anywhere. It really doesn't take long at all. Um, I can break down the entire knife, put the whole thing back together in under 10 minutes. Um, and, and that's while trying to do it behind the camera because I did it for a video the other night. So, um, but like I said, we'll include that at the end. Just, just a great design. I mean, it really is. Um, lock up on these is great. And man, the feel in the hand, it just, you're, you're going to have no problem if you've got big hands holding on to this knife. It feels fantastic in the hand. 
Um, so very good lockup, very good action on these. I have found that, that I have more success kind of using my thumbnail a little bit and just, just putting it right in between. I've shown that technique to some other people in the store and, and they've said they've they found that to be the most successful way to open and close it, but great action on them. So anyway, let's jump over. I'm not gonna cut or edit or anything. Uh, so do some comparisons here. And the first knife we gotta throw in here is gonna be the XM24. This is what everybody's kind of comparing one to the other. And, and we've getting, getting a lot of calls about which one should I get. That's kind of a personal decision, but I think it's really cool right now that both are available. I uh, don't know how long that'll last. So with the 24, we're gonna do a little bit more detail comparing the two. Uh, with the 24, you can tell you, you're getting just a quarter inch more of blade length. Uh, you're getting just a little, little tiny bit more of handle length here. So 24 is heavier. Uh, I think the 24 is just over, oh God, sweat. It's 7.7 .7 ounces, I think. So it's almost, an entire ounce heavier than the full track. And one of the reasons for that is, is because behind the scale, it is milled out. It's a place to, there's a little pocket back here that you can actually put your other bearings in. So outside of that, I mean, they both fit the hand really, really well. They're both now on bearings, so they're both incredibly smooth, uh, or have the trial weight pivot system, I should say. Um, so it's kind of a tough call, but honestly, uh, Thickness on the back here, you do get a little bit more handle thickness out of the 24, uh, but you're a little wider on the handle, especially down here at the base uh, on the on the full track. So tough call. Uh, uh, both fantastic knives and, and both very close in price range. Actually, identical in the in the uh, stone washed and working finish. So that was the 24. Let's kind of run through some of the hinders that we've got here. We don't have. A, it, we don't, unfortunately right now, uh, have an XM18 three and a half in stock. Oh yeah, we do, that's, that's crap. All right, so what you're looking at right now is actually the Hender Eclipse and just giving you a size comparison between that. Uh, obviously a good bit smaller. Uh, on the 20, on the 18 three and a half, I apologize about that. Uh, we do have uh, three and a half uh, fatties, warnings in stock. So just a couple left. I actually thought we'd sold out of them. So I'll give you that size comparison, obviously. Uh, when you start getting in, the, this is the fatty, so it's the same thickness as the 24, uh, which, so it kind of gives you that, that same thickness overall, but at least we're giving you kind of a, how much bigger is it? And just to throw, uh, let's move that out of the way for now throw in so there, there's kind of your size comparison there so full track in the middle 24 on the top and three and a half on the bottom so as you can see just a little smaller and just a little smaller going down to the three and a half so uh with that 3.75 inch blade it should be in the middle so for giggles while we're dealing with hinder stuff show you guys a half track so this is a half track this is the full track um by both they're awesome and while we're still on Hender, throw in a Maximus. Uh, I know a lot of people have been carrying the Maximus as their daily carry. So just give you an idea of size there. And you know what? Let's throw in what's new from, from Rick within the past few months. This is the Hender Ranch Bowie. This is the last one we've got in stock. But look, everybody talks about how great that handle is on the Ranch Bowie. Look at that. That's uh, that, that there's there's a lot of similarity there. So uh, that's why people have been loving the full track. So that's all we got from Hender to compare it to. But let's compare it. We always like to throw in some ZTs. Uh, I tried to pick out some of the biggest ZTs that are in production right now. So here's the 801 tie, uh, which is really closer to the size of that XM18 three and a half, and so is the. ZT562, which was designed by Rick, and it's very, very similar. This is the closest you're gonna get to a, to a XM18 three and a half without buying a hinder. So, uh, and then this is probably the longest uh, ZT we've got in stock right now. It's production ZT0095. 
So this is the bead black wash model. And let's throw a few others in here. I uh, gotta throw in, this is pretty much considered the beast in the Benchmade world and uh, the Benchmade Adamas. And as you can tell, they're, they're close in size, but the full track's actually a little bigger. So uh, not much, about the same handle length and maybe a 10th of an inch longer on, on blade length. So the, the Adamas though has that just super thick handle. All right. And while we're dealing with bench made, let's throw in the full size Crooked River. Just kind of giving you that for an overall length. We've sold a lot of Crooked Rivers over the past year or so. So I know we've got some customers out there that have those. And then we always like to give a shout out to Southern Grind. And here's the Southern Grind Bad Monkey. And pretty darn similar in overall length, but it just just different knives in a lot of ways. So, folks, that's it. I'm gonna try and throw in that fast uh, breakdown and and uh, reassembly video. It's it's literally about half a minute long because we did it in a, a time lapse speed up thing, whatever you want to call it. But this is it. This is the Hinder uh, full track. It's badass, it's just an amazing knife. So we hope you'll check it out. We have these available now and back in stock. We were one of the first to get them and they flew off the shelf. So we're happy to have them back and they are available at usamadeblade.com. And as always, we appreciate you watching.